Guys, welcome to MRN Chronicles. Today I am going to show you how to do a dual boot of Macintosh OS Sonoma along with Windows 10 on Macbook Pro 2015 Intel Edition. We are going to open the Safari browser then head out to microsoft.com website. You can just search for Windows 10 ISO and then open the page so that you can download the ISO file of Windows 10. Please note this only works on the Intel based Macintosh. So my model is Macbook Pro early 2015 13 inch model. So I am selecting the, the Windows 10 ISO and then I am selecting the English as a preferred language. Click on confirm. This will download the ISO file. You can use the download accelerator or type of download tool so that I can download quickly. And once the download completes, I will show you the next steps. So please note you need to have a product key for the windows to make it activated. I already have a product key installed, so I am able to activate once I install the dual boot. The advantage of this dual boot is, if you are if you want windows environment, you can just power on the macbook. It will ask you whether you want to load macintosh sonomo or windows 10. Happily you can go to windows 10 or windows 11 also, both are supported by the way. I installed windows 10, you can repeat the same procedure to install windows 11 also. Once the download is done, I go to Bootcamp Assistant, I go to Go Utilities, then Bootcamp Assistant. It's going to download some support software so that to make the Macbook ready to accept the Windows partition. So now I'm going to click continue. Now it's going to give me an option to select the partition size. Okay. So once the partition size is decided, it's going to ask me the root password. So I enter the root password and now it going to give me a partition information and we'll be selecting the partition size accordingly so as you can see now it is scanning my device to identify all the partitions available in my laptop once the partitions are available it's going to give me the option to partition it so that to accept the windows os so mine is a one terabyte model so i am going to accept the windows os once the windows os is booted up we can happily do dual booting so as i see i can just launch the boot camp assistant it's going to give me the option to select the partition size as you can see here i am selecting appropriate partition size for my installation once the partition size is selected i can directly download the iso file the earlier ISO file, whatever we have downloaded, you can give the path to it. As you can see, it has already mentioned the path, Windows 10, right? I can use Windows 11 also. It depends. So I am using Windows 10. Maybe I can upgrade to Windows 11 at later stages if required. But Windows 10 seems to be okay for me. So I have installed Windows 10. Since it supports my online exams also, you can do a lot of stuff. Compatibility is more on Windows 10. So now it is going to ask me to partition the hard disk is going to partition the hard disk download the windows support software and then it will reboot so as you can see it is now downloading the required support software then it will reboot totally depending on the time taken of the internet speed this is going to take in a while maybe few minutes And also it's going to take a while to download the Windows support software. Okay. So please be patient. And also connect the AC adapter in case the laptop battery is you know, getting discharged quickly. The main advantage of dual boot is you can enjoy both the operating system. And the speed is amazing. The Windows speed is amazing because Apple system use SSD drive, the MacBook Pro. And we are using the MacBook Pro for loading Windows. Please note it is only applicable for Intel based MacBook Pro until early 2015 or late 2015 models so later on apple has shifted you know its microprocessor to apple silicon that time you need to use the vmware fusion to actually do a dual boot that is not actual dual boot but it is a virtualization but now it's actually a dual boot when you power on the laptop you will get option whether you want to load macintosh or whether you want to load windows 10 or windows 11 depending on what you have installed so it is going to use the native performance of all the hardware components of your laptop. So Windows 10 or 11 will be super fast. And this is mainly useful to play games also because Macintosh may not be supporting all the games. So you can install all the games for Windows and enjoy a beautiful experience on the MacBook Pro. 
So as you can see, it is downloading the required software. So we are going to wait for some time before it downloads all the required software. And please note, note Windows 11 steps are also identical. You can download Windows 11 ISO file. It's just that you need to have a product key or serial key when you're activating the Windows 10 or Windows 11 when you first boot the operating system. So it is going to reboot now and uh, it is loading Windows installation menu. Once the Windows installation menu is open, you can see setup is started. Here we have to select the partition that is created by Bootcamp in the earlier step. So once the setup is started, you can click on Windows. I don't have product key right now, you can register later. Here I will select Windows 10 Professional or Windows 11 Professional depending on the requirement. And once it is done, I am going to select the next button and then click on the bootcamp partition select the partition bootcamp it's going to load all the files copy windows files install enable the features of windows this is going to take a little bit long time maybe 10 15 minutes since it's a ssd drive it is going to be very fast as you can see the numbers are pretty fast so once the installation is done you will have a native windows setup done on your macbook so when you are rebooting the Mac, it will ask you whether to load Windows or Macintosh Sonomo. You can validate, verify the previous video how to install macOS Sonomo on the unsupported MacBook Pro early 2015 edition 13 inch Intel based. So now the Windows setup has been completed on the Macintosh laptop and it is going to reboot the operating system or the installation process. Once the reboot happens, so we can see now the reboot window will come and once the countdown happens it reboots the windows and then you can happily install and continue the installation of windows 10 it's just a moment it's now booted up the main advantage is you can run a lot of programs like ms office any windows based applications can natively run because you are actually installing a native windows setup on the macintosh now you have to select the region india of course and then click on yes Then it takes a while then it asks you certain questions uh a network a keyboard layout i'm going to select english india once the keyboard layout is done it's going to wait for a moment to save the settings it asks for the connecting network network you cannot, you cannot connect because the drivers are not installed so i will say do not connect network at this time once the windows setup is completed we are going to install there is something called a bootcamp installer so here our name and password we are going to mention who is going to use the PC it creates a normal user and once it is done I just click on next 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 until I get the windows menu so it is now rebooting hi it is saying hi now we are getting everything ready for you this might take some minutes so once the setup is completed automatically we boot camp installer driver will start up as you can see in a short while this will ensure that your trackpad your web camera wi-fi everything is working so once you install this all drivers will be installed so windows can natively access all your devices features of your macbook pro so as you can see installation is done it's going to reboot now in a short while so when the reboot is happening you can click on finish very fast as you can see performance it's just rebooted it gives you an option apple logo and then cursor windows or macintosh sonomo i select windows i click enter and then it loads the windows operating system pretty amazing guys really macbook pro of 2015 was very versatile it was very useful for everyone to load both windows and mac thanks for watching like share subscribe himalayan chronicles thanks a lot guys